City. It's the Wendy Williams Show. How you doing? The kids have come to play today. You won't believe what I'm about to tell you. With all due respect, have several seats. My girls are always turned out. I give it to you straight, no chaser. Now. and jumpsuit at one time. Okay. Anyway, yes. Um, first of all, don't forget People versus OJ tonight. Okay. My entire day is planned around staying up until 10 o'clock at night. I got a nap by five, be up by eight, or I would have slept too long and then not be able to be up tomorrow morning for our show. Um, also, I'm really excited to share with you guys um, that I have a new show. <laughs> and unfortunately, because of the new show, I have to leave this show. <laughs> you know I love jokes. No, I have, a, I have a new show and it's called Wendy Style Squad. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll still be here at the talk show, but um, I'm doing this show with some of my favorite fashion friends, Bevy Smith, who you know. Robert Verdi, who is fabulous. Lloyd Boston, who is so classy and civilized, they join me as we dish on all the fashion hits and misses from some of the biggest award shows. So um, our big Grammy special airs next Tuesday night at nine o'clock on BET. Ta-da! <laughs> Sierra? Mm-mm, cause now, uh-oh. Now it's become very precarious. Well, she's declaring war on her ex-husband, Future. No. They were married, right? No. Okay, never, no. never married. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay, marriage is not for everyone, but the point is is that she does have baby Future with Future, and Sierra is claiming that Future is attacking her parenting skills on social media and also her relationship with Russell Wilson, her football playing um, boyfriend. And she says that her career is being hurt as well as her brand. So Sierra is suing Future for $15 million. Okay. Now follow the 15s because he's alleging that he's paying her $15,000 a month. So she just sued, she's gonna sue him for $15 million, <laughs> keeping money from her mouth that she could have alleged to her, could have been made if he wasn't so bashing towards her. Oh. But here's my thing, Cece, and you know I love you, but I gotta, Pow pow. <laughs> I, I, you know, 
I'm a straight shooter, I always have been. Sierra, future's not the reason that your music hasn't sold. <laughs> and future is also not the reason that you got that lucrative contract for a moment with um, Alexander McQueen. Oh. Right? Yes. You did that, girl. Your beauty did that, girl. Like, you, Cece, you are so talented. No, it, by the way, it wasn't McQueen, it was Roberto Cavalli. But if you squint, a lot of the clothes look the same. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Now here's where the calamity comes in. We're talking about Sierra today on Hot Topics. I would have loved to have postponed this story until Thursday, because tomorrow night I go to an event. And Sierra is performing. <laughs> And I don't have my 200 people squad for backup. Okay? <laughs> like a lot of you all ask, well, Wendy, you know, you do hot topics. What happens when you go out and you run into people? <laughs> look, I put on a brave face. <laughs> I, I try to bend my knees to look shorter. <laughs> So you don't recognize me, I put my hair in my face. <laughs> and I try my best to slink out the room. Unfortunately, that never works. So um, uh, here's the thing, um, Sierra, it's not Future's fault. Now Future, I don't know what you're paying in child support. Personally speaking, I don't even wanna know about this story. You know, this is you all's fault for putting stuff on social media. And not just them, but many people. I'm like, I don't, I don't wanna know. But I got an hour to fill. So let's continue. <laughs> One more thing and don't take this the, all right, take it how you want to. <laughs> you are his fourth baby's mother with four children. When you met him and he only had three babies, mothers, and three children, that should have been a drive-by. <laughs> Not a, a stay with. And I like Future, and I like Sierra, and I'll let you know what happens tomorrow night. <laughs> on Thursday, thank you. <laughs> it really is the worst part of this job. You know, you sit here, you feel all safe, you're talking about people and do it, and then all of a sudden you, you enter a soiree and you see five people you've talked about on Hot Topics over there huddled together. God, do I go home? Do I stay? What do I do? So you know me, I have a hard head, I stay. And, and you know? I stay and try to woman up the situation like, cause this means, this means if I didn't, if I wasn't reading, I wouldn't be talking. So Sierra, I'm bringing my glittery microphone and uh, right after you get off stage from performing, I'll be right there. Waiting for... I'm playing Sierra, I'm playing. So this thing with Madonna and Guy Ritchie, okay, I must continue on with this story because this is such an important thing for parents. You know, that age group between like eight and 20 is crazy. And you can't always blame the parents. So Madonna's concerned that Guy Ritchie is too lax with their son Rocco, who's 15, and she might be right. Well, do I have a quote? Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so Rocco was just caught in London, chiefing. <laughs> Chief. <laughs> chiefing. I don't know what that is. It doesn't look like, I mean, it could very well be like a, well, well, okay. Let's dissect. Let's not accuse the young man. Okay, clearly this is not like a Newport or a Paul Mall or a Camel, but it might be a Moor. 
you, do you remember more cigarettes? They were long and brown. And women smoked them to be glamorous. Okay, or maybe it's just a good old fashioned baseball bat filled with the chief. <laughs> By the way, if you squint at the picture, you see a lot of graffiti and you also see a skateboard down by the young man's thigh. Okay, so my assumption is that he's at a skate park. They already say that he loves to, you know, skateboard and whatnot. I don't think that this is Guy's fault or Madonna's fault though. However, it's more Guy's fault than Madonna's fault, but nobody's fault. Cause the boy is 15 and you know, kids are sneaky. They're gonna do what they're gonna do behind your back while you're busy. But. Uh, uh, you know, it doesn't help that his father, who I'm, I'm shocked at that, his father isn't a strict, stricter parent. Um, here's what he told Detail Magazine four years ago. Four years ago. He goes, I'm anti-school. I'm anti-people putting so much pressure on kids and robbing their childhood by giving them so much homework. I think if kids want to, are, uh, an heiress, what do you, how do you say it? An heiress, I said it right, okay. Around, then they should. Um, you, listen, listen, this is wrong on every level. I mean, even as a parent, and there are many of us who have never been formally um, educated, so, but successful nevertheless, and you might be anti-school, but to me, when you put that seed in kids' heads, yeah. it just is like, it's like, don't do your anti-school thing until the kid's like 30 years old. <laughs> and you're sitting on the back, back deck with a Bex. And you're, and you're talking to your kid saying, I'm glad you enjoyed school. It was so stupid. I hate that you had to be tortured through that, but it is necessary. And you'll tell your kids the same thing. The school is necessary. <laughs> So I get what Madonna's saying, this is, he, but he's not the first smoker in the family. Do we have the picture of beautiful Lourdes when she was at LaGuardia High School? All right, now it's a Siggy, uh, but she's outside looking grown, isn't she? Yes. In a huddle with her friends outside of the LaGuardia High School here in Manhattan. Now she's no longer in high school. She now goes to the University of Michigan where Madonna quit after the first semester. Yeah, well, school is not for everyone. But you can't tell your kids that until they get older, right. you know? All right, I'm exhausted. <laughs> so Beyonce, the only reason why I say exhausted is only because like I sit here by myself, I always tell you this. So I have to choose my words so carefully so that when I do run into people, you know, at parties and stuff, you know, I can be very, very assured of exactly what I said. Don't try to twist my words. <laughs> yeah. Beyonce's Super Bowl performance was nothing more than entertainment to me. I delighted in watching her. no idea that there were political implications in her performance, because all I saw was twerking and jerking and hair movement, <laughs> like everything that I need to have a good time. Well, there are people saying that they're mad at Beyonce because she performed her new song, Formation, which uh, has a Black Lives Matter message. First of all, what I saw was Bruno Mars came out first and he had on all black. So I thought, excuse me, Beyonce and her squad were wearing black to marry to Bruno and then bring um, the other man uh, from Cold, Chris Martin from Coldplay. <laughs> he was wearing the rainbow. But um, anyway, now, <laughs> okay. So people were offended because Beyonce's girl squad was wearing berets as in Black Panther, like people die a sec, like they have nothing better to do. Okay, so berets like the Black Panther, 
excuse me, the guardian angels invented by Curtis Sliwa wore guardian, uh, they, they wore berets also. The artists in Paris wear berets and striped shirts when they paint, right? <laughs> well, now our former New York City Mayor, Rudy Giuliani is lash, yes, he's in the fight. He's lashing out at Beyonce. He's saying that her performance was attack on the cops. The beret and also the fist. Now, pardon me, but the fist has been my people's sign of strength <laughs> since the 50s. I, I, the, the fist, I, I've given you the fist. Nobody ever said anything, like the fist is say it loud, I'm black, black and I'm proud. That's, yes. I found nothing offensive about it. Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, I think that you're barking up a, a tree that is not, is not for you to bark up. And um, they say that there was graffiti in the music video saying stop shooting us. Well, okay, and, and, and what are we arguing about? And also there is a sinking cop car, but I didn't look at that as anything but there's Beyonce doing it. I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I, I didn't look at this as anything but entertainment. The political implications, sure, if you squint, you look, but if you know the history of the fist and a beret and whatnot, it's not a thing, Rudy. Yeah. <laughs> and besides, Beyonce's got a huge voice. If she can use her voice to subtly embark something on somebody, then why not? Yeah. Just saying. Okay, so there is uh, this movie. I've been seeing the commercials. You know I like Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. I find him very attractive. Yeah. And, and he's got a very low profile for a Hollywood guy. Anyway, so he's in this new movie called Deadpool. I don't know whether you've seen the previews. Deadpool is getting rave reviews and it's our hot clip of the day. Roll it. I didn't ask to be super, and I'm no hero. But when you find out your worst enemy is after your best girl, the time has come to be a superhero. Cue the music. Exco, deliver to you. Ah. Wait for you to get it on your own. Exco, deliver to you. We can't allow this Deadpool. I don't have time for your X-Men bull colossus. Besides, nobody's getting hurt. That guy was up there before we got here. Knock, knock. Oh. Looks good. Deadpool hits theaters Friday, February 12th. I'm watching. Oh. It's cold and messy. That means that we're gonna heat things up with Wendy's Hot Tropics giveaway. Bring out the wheel, Suzanne. What do you wear? Yes, it's very Bo Derrick. Yes. All right, let's get uh, today's contestant on the line. We're calling Anaheim. Oh, oh. Hello, Wendy? Oh! Really? Okay, the caller, we didn't call from a block number? <laughs> Here at the studio, oh, seriously? Yes, it's me, Wendy. Hi, Kenya from Anaheim, California. Hi! Oh, how are you doing? <laughs> Kenya, you're today's uh, contestant on Wendy's Hot Tropics giveaway. Yeah! yeah. Yay. Kenya, have you been watching our show every day on KTTV? Every day, Wendy, since 2010, girl. Yeah! Thank you, Kenya. Okay, Kenya, let's find out what you're playing for. Hit it, Suzanne. All right, here we go, big money for Kenya! Four-night stay at the all-inclusive
of Moon Palace, Jamaica, Grand, and Ocho Rios. The trip includes round trip airfare for two, and it's provided from our friends at uh, the Jamaica uh, Tourist Board. So you're gonna have 15 seconds on the clock to guess correctly. Okay, okay. Okay, Kenya, you know, your first guess is your only guess. Yes, okay, I got okay. this, I got this. Okay, here we go. Kenya? Uh-huh. Yesterday on Hot Topics, I talked about a new class that I'm taking on Sunday mornings with my son, Kevin. What kind of class is it? And go! It's a pottery class! Yes! Oh, oh, yes! You're going to Jamaica, Kenya? Have fun at the Moon Palace in Ocho Rios. Thank you very much for watching, Kenya. Bye-bye. If you'd like to be a winner like Kenya in Wendy's Hot Tropics giveaway, log on to my Facebook page to enter. Make sure that you watch our show every day. Every nuance counts. 